Hello folks, my name is Timothy Adon, composer and sometimes sound designer, here with another episode of Integrating Wise into Unreal. So today we are going to handle footsteps. It's going to be a fairly short episode, but it is a rather important precursor to what the next episode is going to be, which is switch events and other game parameter type of things. Um, in order to handle footsteps, I decided to start up a new a new Unreal project using the th uh, the third person layout because the animation is going to be way more helpful in showing exactly what it is that I'm doing. And that is going to be triggering footsteps with animations. Um, now, I did run into an error when I was recording this video. So I've already kind of handled some of this and there's going to be less errors on my part that you're going to see because I've already kind of recorded it all and then it all broke and and then there was a fire and everybody was screaming. But that's okay. Um, also, we can ignore this. That can go. That wasn't used. Um, so I already have uh, I already have this stuff done in WISE. So over in WISE, I have my footsteps already created. Um, it's simply a random container with three of my very early recordings of footsteps, it's like when I first started doing sound design. Um, but they're nice and default. Um, so it's really all I need for this. Uh, so this has been created. It's a random container. I got some pitch randomization on there. Very basic stuff. I'm not going to do anything extra for this video. Uh, so now we're in here. What we need to do is we are going to have the animation trigger the footstep sounds. What we need to do is open up the character blueprint. This is the fastest way for me to find this anyways. Go to the mesh character here. Scroll down here and actually double click on the skeletal mesh which is going to take us to the skeletal mesh. And then we want to open up uh, the actual animations here. Now, something I discovered while I was recording the first time is that we need this. We need the run forward animation. But there are two of these. This is not the one that gets used. Uh, we need this one, the second one down here. Now, I'm going to delete these so that you can see. Eh. So that you can see what I did. Now, with this open, we need a notify track. And we are going to set up some notifications. Um, also known as anim notifies. We're just going to zoom in on the foot here. Everybody get your feet picks ready. And we're going to scroll the, the cursor here in order to find where all of the footsteps happen. Right? And... Okay. So we're going to go right there. We're going to right click on this notification track, add notify, and I want you to pay special attention to this. Anim notify AK event. Don't use that. It's, it's a fairly handy event for some things, but for our purposes here, it's just not going to do what we need. Um, this would directly trigger the sound within the animation, which is cool. Instead, what we want is for the animation to trigger an event which we will then run in the blueprint. So new notify, play footstep. And then we're going to take that, we're going to copy it, find the next footstep right there. Next footstep right there. 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 
Last one should be right there. Sweet. So now we'll go ahead and save this. And then we're going to click on this. This is the blueprint specifically for the animation. Go here. There's a whole bunch of blueprint stuff that I don't necessarily understand because it has to do with animations. We're going to look for uh, play event anim notify play footstep. So now this is the event that's going to get called every time the animation hits that point. So post event. We're going to select uh, ignore these. I was experimenting with some other things and ultimately it didn't really work out. There. And now we need to find where the event is going to take place. Um, I ran into some issues before. I was trying to get self. But that doesn't work on animations. Um, that would work over here in the third person blueprint. You can easily get a reference to self. But that doesn't work in an animation blueprint. So instead, what we want is get owning actor. And then it gets self. Go figure. And that should be everything that we need. We're going to save. We're going to compile before we forget, because I constantly forget this. Generate your sound data. I think that error was because I deleted a couple events that no longer exists. So actually, hold on. Wise, delete these two events because those are no longer needed. Again, I was trying out some stuff. I wanted to try looping footsteps as well as the animation notifies. Ultimately, didn't work out. Anyways, I am pretty sure this still plays. Yeah. Okay, it's not exactly perfect, but it's pretty close. And that is how you set up footsteps using um, animation notifies. That is going to be very important when we get to... The next episode, which is um, activating switches. Activating switches is how we change what footstep sound plays, depending on the material we are moving on. But that is going to take a long time to set up, and so this was just kind of an important thing to get done ahead of time. So, uh, so it's kind of a short video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And if there is anything specific in the future, that you would like to see, uh, please feel free to write that down in the comments, send me an email, send me a DM, whatever works for you. And if you want to support me in any way, shape, or form, please feel free to uh, get me a coffee with my Ko-Fi information down in the corner or in the links in the description. And I will talk to you again soon in the next video. Thank you very much, and bye bye So now the other way that we want to try to do this is through looping. Um, now, this isn't going to be a common way, at least in my mind, this isn't going to be a common way to handle this. Uh, the, the use cases I see for this are working on something that is not a first person or third person shooter type of game, um, say a pixel art style game or something like that, there might be a use case for this. <clears throat> and that's why I want to show it off. So we're going to go ahead and break this link so that this doesn't play anymore. We're going to go to the third person character. 
Uh, I already went into Wise and set up a playlist container with a random container for the footstep loop with a 0.1 delay and a footstep loop play event and a footstep, uh, footstep loop stop event, which I then pushed into the sound bank. And we're going to, oh, also I added this stuff in when I was talking before and thinking I was uh, recording. Um, so now we need a way to get the blueprint to trigger the play event and then stop the play event. So what we want to do, I'm now nervously looking over at my recording to make sure it's actually recording. Um, so this one's going to require a little bit more experimentation, but we're taking the axis values. So basically, are we moving, adding them together? If it's greater than zero, if also called a branch in here. Either of these can trigger it. If greater than zero, we will post event, play our footstep loop. There we are. And if it's not greater than zero, Post event, stop the loop, again, where we are, if that matters, and save and compile, and I'm pretty sure this is actually going to play a little bit too fast. Yeah. So that's way faster than how I have this set. That's how fast it should be playing. Additionally, I also, just so that you know, um, have this set to a, to limited sound instances one, discarding the newest instance if one is played. So, and of course I know why this is happening. This is happening because this is being called every frame. Both of these are being called every frame, which means this branch is being called twice a frame. And each of these events is getting played once or twice a frame. So I could, of course, add a delay. See if that works. But I question whether or not that's actually going to help. And I set a delay of 0.1. Save and compile. Blueprint failed to compile. Error. Must have an input wired into it. Oh, interesting. I can't just set my own delay length. All right. Fine. Be that way. <laughs> 